All right, so we're back online again. Uh, yeah, after the video on the traditional grip, I received a request from my friend Kevin Lapondrelet, which is an amazing metal drummer, by the way, and not just a, a, a drummer. Uh, he's an amazing uh, musician. He plays uh, piano like like no drummers I know, <laughs> basically. Um, so he asked me about uh, what about the video on French grip. And it's grip is a touchy subject for me, uh, for many reasons. And also, when you go online and you search about all those uh, and techniques uh, tutorials, one of the things they, they do about the grip is uh, they only say like if you play, let's say, uh, sorry, like Germanic palm down position. You know, they will say, oh, you know, for a French grip, you just turn your hand and there you go, French grip. But that's, that's not really the point because uh, the side when I play like kind of bashing the high at kind of playing, um, what you can do, and I think what he was referring to was uh, more about the uh, finger technique, something like that, where you can see the only thing moving uh, is the fulcrum with the fingers. In fact, the fulcrum doesn't move, but what I mean by that is I could only use the fulcrum like this and generate um, a stroke, basically. So where I want to go with that is simply to um, bring up from the, the, the most important thing about uh, hand technique uh, is the fulcrum, so the pivot point where you hold the stick basically and it doesn't matter like even if you're not at the optimal uh, balance point like I can still I wouldn't play like that but I mean you can still generate the strokes with just the wrong fulcrum uh, so if you're at that position or even if you go higher that goes to the same thing as basically traditional grip where you have a fulcrum which is uh, right here where I pinch the stick between my thumb and my uh, the crease of my uh, index finger or the web like the fleshy webby part similar to a chicken wings or anyway so long story uh, short, maybe, what you want to do is uh, get a feel for the fulcrum. Once you identify the fulcrum, which is generally the part that if you get wrong, no matter how long you practice, you'll never get a, an amazing uh, comfort or end speed or control, because you will just be using the either the wrist or trying to you know compensate and you'll be frustrated and yaggy 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 out. So when you get the motion going of you know just basically like you just move those two fingers in that kind of motion like a pendulum and you bring that into the actual uh, playing position you get the rebound and what creates that rebound are the other fingers which act as uh, anyway the other fingers get into the action that's what I wanted to say so as you can see only my finger are generating the strokes and that could be interesting to find uh, the fulcrum because if you can do that it means that you're actually using a fulcrum. If you don't, if you don't move the, the, the fingers to generate the strokes, it means that you're using either the wrist or your hand or even your elbow. Sometimes I'm guilty of that. I'll start to bash with just my elbow. So I hope it was <laughs> educational to an extent. Um, French grip, just remind that. Get the fulcrum down and after all, the motion will not be automatic, but it will become way more easier to uh, to create. And 
once you get it going. You see, I can do that and not get, get, get tired. And you can even bring that to the snare. So you can go with each individual fingers. Stuff I learned from uh, watching the Jojo Mayo DVD back in the, I think it was 2007 or something. Still relevant to this day. I need to watch his uh, Foot Technique DVD too. And I, I used to do that, but if you want to get a 2 4 one kind of uh, effect, you can do, uh, I think it's called a push-pull, where you generate a first row like that, and then to get the second one, you just close. So it becomes a kind of open, close, open, close kind of motion. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. It looks like my wrist is moving a little bit, but it's majorly the fingers that are going to work. It's kind of great if you want to uh, do some kind of a drum and bass jungle kind of beat with the right, like a, a really fast. So you know you you uh, balance two different uh, muscle groups and that gets you uh, more endurance basically. So I hope that this uh, eight minute long video was useful. Uh, so okay then, uh, there you go. Here's your, I don't know if, if it was a tutorial you wanted, uh, I may even ask you about what you really want to know about it. So I can make a better video. Okay, bye.